I'm going to go drop Radiant Eternatus. And we're going to go straight into two Duraludons. The last Sword and Shield era set is largely a collection of cards and promo cards from Japan that haven't been released internationally. However, there are a couple of brand new cards, one of which is Radiant Eternatus. And this card allows us to play wacky decks like this one. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Radiant Eternatus in a Lost Box Duraludon and Flying Pikachu deck, all right? So, um, so Lost Box deck, you're going to use Comphase to get a whole bunch of cards into the Lost Zone. Once you've got seven in the Lost Zone, you will be using a Mirage Gates to get to uh, charge up your attackers and what you might notice here is that we only have v maxes here we've got four duraludon v max and one flying pikachu v max and the reason we don't need the v's is that we've got radiant eternatus here with the climactic gate ability when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two Pokemon VMAX and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Yes, your, your turn ends, but imagine you're going first. You do all the Lost Zone stuff. You throw down Radiant Eternatus, and then bang, you've got two Duraludons on the board, or you've got a Duraludon and a Flying Pikachu, just like that. Next turn, you do a couple more Lost Zone things, charge it up with Mirage Gate, and now you're swinging with a Flying Pikachu VMAX, hitting water decks for weakness or stopping basics from attacking, or you're stopping decks with special energy from, from hitting you while swinging for a solid 220 with Shred on top of that. It's a pretty nutty combo and it, it can be a little tricky to pull off we do have the hasuian heavy ball we have a couple of those in case the radiant eternatus does get stuck which is a thing that has happened to me um we've also got um lost vacuums we have a couple of these to help you get rid of one help you get more cards in the lost zone but two help you get rid of cards like path to the peak which can be really destruct destructive to this deck not just because your Path to the Peak shuts down Duraludon, but Path to the Peak shuts down Radiant Eternatus. And if you can't get Radius Eternatus, Radiant Eternatus down, uh, you, you just lose. <laughs> so uh, really important to have outs to Path to the Peak in this deck. We've got Hyper Potion for some healing. Uh, four Mirage Gates, of course, for that energy acceleration. Some recovery in terms of energy and Pokemon with Ordinary Rod. You're going to be using this more for the energy than the, the Pokemon part of it because you can't really cheat your way back into getting Duraludon VMAX and Pikachu VMAX onto the board yes you could scoop up net radiant eternatus play it again but after the first turn you're probably losing too much tempo and will lose the game so uh mostly there to recover energy we've got four quick balls to get as many confes on the board as you can four scoop up nets of course for pivoting and getting your lost zone cards in there by moving confes back and forth three ultra ball three poke stops this one is be careful with this one i have played games where i have used poke stop and lost radiant eternatus multiple times <laughs> with this so keep this in mind however it is great for grabbing the myriad of items that are in this deck two copies of boss four colorists two big parasol so that in scenarios where you're playing against something like a lugia and they've got the amazing rare evil tall you throw two big parasols on the duraludons and protect yourself from that amazing destruction attack and then we've got one four seal stone really handy to just grab that one card you need whether it's boss's orders to finish the game or something else whatever it is you can grab it with four seal stone and then for energy we've got four fighting two lightning and six metal energy uh i will say this is a really interesting deck 
concept and you you are definitely targeting certain decks you're looking for the lugia matchup here you're looking for some other meta relevant matchups uh it it can be kind of tricky right the whole deck hinges on being able to hit radiant eternatus turn one it might not be the end of the world if you don't hit a turn one but you really need to hit this play quickly all right let me go show you how this deck works heads yes okay Let's see how we, okay, we get the two. I actually, I don't, this is not a bad setup. We really want to race to get two seven as fast as we can. So it's actually kind of okay. Oh my goodness. Some sort of weird wheezing deck. If it's the, I see the wrong wheezing in there. Hopefully it is all the wrong wheezing, which gives us more opportunity. Dark Rye, huh? Okay. Uh, let's grab Heavy Ball, and maybe we can get our... Yes! Save the Eternatus. Absolutely. But let's see how many cards we can get into the Lost Zone before we pull the plug on, on this. Let's actually save a Hyper Potion. We don't necessarily need an Ultra Ball right here. Let's go and run through the Pokestop. We get Ultra Ball, and I think it was this one that hasn't done anything yet. Correct. We do get a... Um, no, we don't. We're not going to need... We might need Parasol here. We might need Parasol here, and I'm going to go drop Radiant Eternatus, and we're going to go straight into two Duraludons. Okay, so we good, good start. We will be able to get six cards in the Lost Zone on the next turn, at least six, with the Colrus. Start, hopefully start swinging with the Raladon here. And this Darkrai may not be able to stand a chance already. This looks Kamado. Okay. Oh, they're just going to empty out, empty the clip. Okay. And also dig for some more stuff. Probably grab a Crobat here. To, to draw up some more. At least that would be my guess. But yeah, getting two Duraludon VMAXs, turn one going first. Mind-boggling. <laughs> um, yeah, also should note... Well, okay, let's see what the rest of their, our opponent's deck is. Um... Okay, this is looking kind of grim for them at the moment. Do we get... We get a Colrus. Let's go... I guess I'll save the... Yeah, we're going to get rid of the stadiums. That's actually kind of a bummer, and I really didn't want to draw into this energy this soon. And I will grab Scoop Up Net, which will allow us to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Scoop. And... Can we get one more scoop? We get a second Mirage Gate. We will lose the Flying Pikachu. That does kind of suck, but we do get um, Metal Fighting, right? So Fighting, Metal, and we will use the second Mirage Gate, Lightning, Metal. So let's go Lightning onto the Comfey, Metal onto the Duraludon. Let's attach the Energy to the second Duraludon here. And we swing for 220. <laughs> Woo! That felt really good. That felt really good. And our opponent's in a really bad spot here. Okay. They're gonna looks like they're gonna keep going. That's fine. They do get a dark patch here. They can at least start to accelerate a little quicker. And yeah, I I could even scoop up net. And put the alternatives back down to put down even more Duraludons. <laughs> we could put down one more, potentially. That's okay. Um, they're running a basic energy deck, so the, the ability to stop um, its attacks is not really in play for us. And we can't necessarily fish our way into a boss's orders here. I don't think this deck runs fish i hope that in the description i do note 
that, and if I haven't noted in the description, this was a deck list I saw in Japan. There is a website, a Twitter account, Pokeka. Um, Recipe, I believe, is the name of it. And it is awesome if you are looking for different ideas and definitely if you want to see like what's happening in in japan they usually get the cards before we do yeah there's no oh there is boss but i don't have any sort of uh support retrieval there so no real point in that let's go and grab oh wait actually we have star alchemy for that yeah we just grabbed boss <laughs> we just grabbed boss and we go and blast one of these dark rise into oblivion Duralida. <laughs> Woo! and we get another mirage gate we get the heavy ball back we're not going to need i don't think the heavy ball is going to to matter here unfortunately our opponent got off to a a rough start but definitely showing the power of eternatus and the power of tempo that you're able to get potentially with this deck now they put down the coughing but i don't think they're going into the right wheezing not to say you know it may have mattered here okay they can pop their v-star power and get two more dark patches and do some decent damage here that actually does matter and we do have a mirage gate i don't actually know if we have the right energy like i don't know if we actually have enough energy to to heal in the deck anymore especially with a bunch of energy in the um yeah maybe we ultra ball here just to see what we have in terms of energy before we run the mirage gate because yeah we are basically a boss's orders on this moltres away from from winning the game they are going to get like a little bit of damage here. I'm not too concerned. Ah, okay. Yeah, 330. It's not hitting 330. They do have the ascension here to to slow down and stop abilities. But I at this point like it's too late. We did what we needed to do. We got the Duraludon, we got the Mirage Gates going. I'm sure there are a lot of other combinations with Radiant and Eternatus. There's at least one other one that I want to try. I think based on the schedule, if you're watching this live and I'm most, most, or watching this when it comes out, most people watch it like later, later. Um, it'll probably be a next week thing. Uh, yeah, because right now I'm, I'm hoping this is out on the 210. That's actually a pretty decent recovery from our opponent. And let's go. I'm going to Ultra Ball here. Let's get rid of the Comfe and the Parasol. I don't think either of those is going to matter. And let's just see what energy we have in that. We have no energy in the deck. So there is no point in trying to Mirage Gate here. And we can dig a little further. Not sure. Oh, yeah, that does help us get um, a little farther into the deck. And so we can get that boss's orders and, and finish this game, hopefully. Actually, here we go. This is what we do. We Ordinary Rod. And we shuffle. Yeah, let's do both. Just throw the comp phase in there. And let's throw two metal in there. And, ooh, we have to discard two energy, right? So we can't just go two metal and, and heal because we don't have yeah that's not quite gonna work but we can potentially save the mirage gate for later let's just go and swing here huh they have kind of made a game of this at least a little bit i think if we can get a a boss's orders in the next turn or so We'll be okay. They do get the mixing toxins wheezing, which is not the right wheezing. I don't active is now confused. Attach us to this Pokemon. Yeah, I don't necessarily see that being the right way to go. I think they would have had a better shot if it was the Ascension wheezing. Or not the 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 poison one. 
they are getting a lot of energy here. I think I, I know why they're doing this to get to make the dark rise stronger. And it's actually this actually does become a problem now that they have so much energy on the board, because if they can get to a point where they can one shot this Duraladon, then then we might have a bit of a problem. However, if they if they attack with this dark ride, they're dead like it's over. Um, I don't know if they can attack with Moltres right now, but if they attack with the Moltres, it is also over. So I think we might have them in checkmate. Oh, yeah, they're bailing out and they're just going to to poison stall for time. Can't blame them for that. Ooh. Okay. Um that does the confusion is kind of annoying. We can use Okay. One, I'm going to lost vacuum away the heavy ball, get rid of that balloon, and we can lost vacuum away I don't want to get rid of Ooh, do we do that just to get the guaranteed hit? I think we might. I think we might. Let's go and retreat. And get rid of a bunch of energy here. This is horrifying. And let's see if we can dig up a boss's orders. Yes! That's exactly what I was hoping for here. We have boss in play. Let's go and end this. Yeah, we will stop beating around the bush here. We will scoop up the Dark Rai. Swing for 220. GG's. Okay, so um, their deck was a little more complete than I thought it would be. Like, I thought, why why are you playing the 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 other Weezing instead of the, the one that does the poison and locks down abilities? I still think that would have been a better call in this match. At the very least, you get the stall for time. But... I understand why they're doing it now. You, you get the wheezing in there to try and attach more energy to ultimately let Dark Rai hit harder. However, um, thanks to Radiant Eternatus, the turn one Radiant Eternatus getting two Duraludons on the board, turn one lost with the Comphase doing the Comphase thing and being able to accelerate energy really quickly, that just posed the massive problem for our opponent they got out-tempoed pretty bad, which is kind of funny, considering, like, Duraludon is not... Even with Arc Duraludon, it is not a deck that is up and running that fast. And for us to be able to do that is pretty ridiculous. GG's. Huh. All right, we lose the coin flip, and... It's not as good to lose the coin flip with this variation of Lost Box. If you are playing a, a standard Lost Box deck, you'll probably have the Cramorant and you can attack going first for 110 damage, which is pretty decent. This deck really relies on you hitting the Eternatus at the end of turn one. And thankfully we have Eternatus in hand and we just have to sequence this properly so that we can play the Eternatus at the end, get the Duraludons down, and, and go from there. And hopefully our opponent's Mew deck is... I'm going to pray for a brick. Oh, they got Battle VIP Pass. Okay. This is not good. But we'll see. We don't... We still... We don't have to worry about the Meloetta as much, because the Meloetta cannot attack us. However, Mew can hit through... Duraludon with Max Miracle, and even though Max Miracle does only 130 damage, you can put a Choice Belt on that, you can use Power Tablets, and then all of a sudden it's a problem. So, let's go, let's keep that in mind as we play through this, and I'm also horrified because they are going first, that they can get first Gust, at which point they Gust up a Duraludon on their second turn, and we might be screwed. I do hope, like with the Scarlet and Violet era coming soon, bigger emphasis on, on Stage 2 Pokemon, I I really hope that we are nearing a point where the game is going to start to slow down a little bit. I do love 
that there is like having started playing theme decks where you're just drawing dead hand after dead hand after dead hand and your opponent's doing the same like i've always hated that but i also don't like drawing my first cards looking at it and being like oh i looking at my starting hand and going oh my cards suck i autumn i lose I lose. I look at what cards my opponent has. I don't. Sometimes I don't even have to look and see what cards my opponent is holding to realize that I have already lost the game. Okay, just the, the nature of how the game is currently built at this point in time. We do get another scoop up net, which is fantastic. I don't like lost zoning all this energy though. Actually, yeah, we did lo lose two. Let's go and grab. We did lose three scoop up nets already, uh, which is not ideal. Uh, I will go and poke stop here though. Let's go dig into the deck, see what we can grab. Maybe, oh my goodness. We just threw a whole bunch of energy down the drain. Let's go Radiant Eternatus, grab double Duraludon, and we pray. <laughs> Um, four is not good enough. We did, we've lost three metal energy, which is really bad to the point where I don't know if we can get going. Hopefully they've got a dead hand here too. They've only got two Genesects in play, so they can only draw twice. They've maxed out. If they have a dead hand here, then we have time to play. They're going to go for the mellow... Putting energy on the Meloetta is a questionable move here. Like, yes, Meloetta can hit for 280 damage, but you're not going to be able to hit the Duraludon. And Mew can hit for 280, but, like, you can't Melodious Echo the Duraludon. I don't know if our opponent has... Oh, they've only got the one energy. Okay. Like, sure, if we're going to take out a Comfey, that's fine. And maybe that's all they need. Uh, Lord knows that our our hand right now is is not great, and it's going to take us. It's going to take kind of a miracle here for us to sort this through. <laughs> Ugh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna need to ordinary rod a bunch of this energy back. And a Colrus experiment would be nice here too. And not heads pretty much guaranteed to be losing this Comfey at this point. I'm not necessarily worried about the Comfey. It's the, uh, can we get our, can we get, can we get rolling here on this turn? If we cannot, then GG's. I guess worst case scenario, like if they just keep the Meloetta out there, we can just block <laughs> their attack. They might have... Path to the peak in here. Mew Mew is starting to run that. Well, I wouldn't say starting to run it, but more Mew decks are throwing Path to the Peak in there, and that would make this a really bad matchup for us. Let's see. And I think our goal is to try and take two prizes, two prizes, two prizes. Knock out the Genesex and then like maybe take out a Mew V. Okay, let's see how our opponent approaches this. I'm kind of hoping we can top deck a Colrus or get one off the Comfey is really what we're looking for here in the next few. Okay, we do get an Ordinary Rod. Let's not use that just yet. I do get a Comfey. That's good. Okay, and oh my goodness. Okay, we do get escape rope. That's awesome. Because then we can go use the other Comfey. And that gets us one, two, three, four, five. I think we're still one short. And that's unfortunate. We do get a, a scoop up net. And that's not going to be. Okay, we'll, we'll hold on to that actually because we will need that on the next go around 
One, two, three, four, five. Let's go and throw. Let's ordinary rod. What do we have in there in terms of Pokemon? Okay. I think we just need the two basic energies. And let's go and throw the metals back into the deck. And we wait. Okay, so they're going to take a two prize lead here. And that's unfortunate. All right, get strapped up. We might be able to bank on our opponent not... <laughs> Do they know the Duraludon thing? They also have more cards than they have Fusion Strike Pokemon on the board. So they're going to have to get rid of some stuff. Uh-oh, here comes Boss. What are you bossing up? Okay. Do they know it? Do they know the thing? Okay, they're winding up. They're winding up. They're winding up. I don't think they know it. I think this is a massive misplay on their part. However, we don't necessarily have... Oh, what are you going to Echoing Horn? Okay, sure. That actually helps me out. If we can get a Colrus top deck, that's what we need. <laughs> okay, this Mew is ready to attack and Max Miracle for like 110. Ugh. It's actually kind of annoying. I would have preferred. Oh, they do have the path to the peak. No. Damn it. 270 damage off the rip. I do have lost vacuum. However, unfortunately, we have no way of, of getting them out of here. So I think we just lose. Yeah, we're one card short of getting stuff into the Lost Zone. And yeah, I could get the Path to the Peak out. And that might be our only play here. And we'll put some energy on the second Duraludon. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I done goofed, right? So we can go Fighting Metal. And we can go... Ah! I can't go Metal Metal. We have to go fighting here, metal here, and we can swing. We can take a prize. Unfortunately for us. Uh, okay, so there was a play we could make there. Now, they can, they can still knock this out, and that's a big problem. Tails, 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 tails. No. How many paths to the peak do you run? How many paths? It's possible that they run two. They could run even four. It depends on how disruptive this Mew V Max build is trying to be. They are going to play some Silene. And thankfully, we threw their, their path to the peak in the Lost Zone. So they're not getting that back. Hmm. We got ourselves a ball game. We're going to need to get back a whole whack of energy here to make this go. Yeah, it's not necessarily over, but it's not looking good. And they have another path to the peak. Oh my goodness. This is... This is bad. This is really bad. So we need another out to path to the peak. Do we have any other outs to path to the peak? We have maybe one more vacuum. And we did get rid of one of the stadiums. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we do have an ultra ball. That's not going to be good enough. We do have an escape rope, which will be handy potentially let's go and throw some more stuff in the lost zone uh this stadium here is actually kind of cool right we can get some items potentially and we do bump the um okay let's go and escape rope 
I think we're toast. I think we're toast. But let's go and run through this. And like maybe we get a Mirage Gate here. Um, we do get them. Oh, we get the. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. We go attach. Oh, we don't have it. Okay. So we lose. We lose. Yeah. We're going to have to scoop here. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. And that is a challenge with any Duraludon deck you run is the the path to the peak is is a problem and mew v max has always been trouble for duraludon it has ways out even with max miracle but like mew starting to play path to the peak does make this match worth worse it's not necessarily unbeatable but our opponent getting the melodious echo off super early with the path to the peak down really put us in a bad spot and we just got out tempoed there so unfortunate l but we will hold that ggs oh no this is <laughs> this is the worst outcome you could have with this deck is starting radiant eternatus and it looks like we're against soul rock lunatone which is actually a horrible matchup for us okay let's see what we can do um but for the time being yeah they did decide to go first and that gives us a little bit of runway here but yeah going against this deck oh th there's actually an answer to this there's a very good answer to this that i only thought about just now it's flying pikachu we just have to attack once with flying pikachu and we'll be okay. That is the answer to this deck. Okay. This is why we run Flying Pikachu in, in this lost zone, lost box nightmare of a deck. Okay. And they are going to get loaded up with energy already. No, it's just one. Just one. Maybe two. Hopefully they don't get too much going here. We can Mirage Gate or Lost Vacuum away the Choice Belt, which will help us out here a little bit. Although we could use it just to charge ourselves up even faster. Let's see. I think we're going to play this out. We're going to play this out because I want to get a match where Flying Pikachu matters here. And Flying Pikachu can very much matter if if we hit the right pieces early colorus comfe and yeah we have to get rid of on or did we have to get rid of ordinary rod i don't know we will go and get rid of Ooh, we can't see what I don't want to save the Duraludon because we can't do anything if the Duraludon VMAX is in hand. Let's go and see what cards are lost zoned. Okay. One, two, three. We do get a big parasol. That actually doesn't matter. And we can go get rid of that and grab another Confe. We've got three Duraludons and a flying Pikachu. And we can go energy. We hard retreat into Comfe, grab an escape rope, and get rid of the other parasol. One, two, three, four. And I think we we drop it. Yeah, let's go flying Pikachu, Duraludon. Okay. Now they have to gust Flying Pikachu and knock out Flying Pikachu in order to make this work. We have four in there. We can go five, six, and then seven. So we do have routes to get, um, get ourselves set up here with the Flying Pikachu. 
and hopefully like yeah i if they just swing big into a comfe i don't care um but the flying pikachu is what we okay they are not gusting thank goodness thank goodness <laughs> I arguably could have just like not even benched the Duraludon and just went with the one Pikachu. Um, you know, maybe that's going to come back to haunt us, but we will see. We'll see. I do feel a little more comfortable having a second attacker here. And maybe they run catchers. I don't know. Okay, they are just going to swing and do a whole bunch of damage. 180. Whew. And we go flower select and let's get a Actually, yeah, we're going to we're going to boss here. Okay, that is 1 2 3 4 5. Let's go and throw poke stop into the lost zone and throw this into the lost zone and now we've got mirage gates live we'll go pikachu or lightning fighting and we will go mirage gate again and we will go uh lightning and fighting yeah so the lightning oh the fighting will go on the duraludon the lightning will go onto the pikachu we will escape rope into flying Pikachu and then we'll gust up the Lunatone. Right? And then we're laughing. At which point we max balloon 160. We're not taking attacks from basics anymore. Now we're talking. Heck yeah. How many ropes they got? They can escape rope and like take out a Radiant Eternatus. Sure. Yeah, that's the thing with this deck is that you're going to have to win on two V maxes. So you're only going to get four hits or get hit four times. Yes, you do have the, the hyper potions, but you're also going to need Mirage Gates. And yeah, we just take the win. G, geez. That's what I'm talking about right there. Flying Pikachu earning its check with that dub right there. Getting to set up Flying Pikachu right away. And not only is it great against stuff like Lugia or the water decks, but it also stops basic decks. It still um, is a factor against stuff like Regigigas. There are some Lost Box decks that can't really deal with Flying Pikachu. And in this particular case, Soul Rock Lunatone pretty much pulled a flying pikachu out of thin air and got the win ggs thus concludes our look at this radiant eternatus duraludon flying pikachu deck it's a really interesting one i definitely want to play more of it however there are some gotchas to me i think that the having to get radiant eternatus down turn one can be really scary i have definitely played games where like i just couldn't get it or i've dug 40 cards deep i have 20 cards in the lost zone and i still can't get radiant and turn to this to even just start playing the game it is scary but when it works being able to come in with duraludon second on your second turn and start swinging without having to go through the rigmarole of even using arceus absolutely nuts and flying getting flying pikachu out of nowhere as well is sick so w what do you think of the deck give it a shot and and let me know your thoughts on this one and that's going to be it for me definitely have some more crown zenith sauce on the way i think the next one is going to be another radiant eternatus deck so um keep your eyes open for that well okay it might the very next video probably isn't crown zenith but i will have more crown zenith decks coming in the near future but that's going to do it for me thank you so much for watching before we go some quick plugs you can find me on all the things youtube tiktok twitter and instagram at in third person i stream the pokemon trading card game 
over on Twitch. Now, I, I used to be able to say every Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, my wife and I just had a child. We're trying to work out the the schedules and the Sunday morning seems kind of tough. I don't want to let that stream go, but we might have to, to show. I will keep you posted on when I will be streaming the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, look out for me on the Twitter and Instagram and all that. Also, check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. All right, I'll go see you on the next one. Let's get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we out. Later.